Hey Dosers, my name is Paige Payne. I am one of our young adult pastors here at North Coast Church, and it is so good to be with you today. We are in a passage in Luke 6, and it's our topic today is that Jesus is our firm foundation. I have a friend, I hope you have friends like this, but she's always kind of asking me those questions that take me just the next level deeper, um, and she pushes me to want to like spend my life with Jesus. And so she asked me the question, she said, Paige, you know how we could totally build our lives like in the truth of who Jesus is, that he loves us, that he's for us, that we will be completely secure and provided for by Christ alone, that he knows everything that he was in the beginning, he will be in the end. Like we have the authority of Jesus in our lives. We could totally live there and probably experience the things of like peace and joy and all that. She's like, but you know how when sometimes like things happen and our faith isn't the first thing that comes out? Like, where, where do you go in those situations? And she and I both laughed about, you know, the places that we'll go. But sometimes we find that our life has not been built on a firm foundation of Jesus and we're looking for it somewhere else. And, and I believe that there's a passage here that we could be encouraged by today. And so come and find with me in Luke 6 verse 46. It says this, as for everyone who comes to me and hears my words and put them into practice, I will show you what they are like. They are like a man building a house who dug down deep and laid the foundation on rock. When a flood came, the torrent struck and the house could not, it struck the house but could not shake it because it was well built. But the one who hears my words and does not put them into practice is like a man who built a house on the ground without a foundation. The moment the torrent struck that house, it collapsed and its destruction was complete. And I just want to point out two things about this passage. There's two houses, one built on the firm foundation, one built with no foundation. Both of these houses without the storm probably look remarkably similar. It's when the storm comes that we find out what was the life actually built on. I know this to be true about my own life, that I can say my identity is firmly built found in Jesus until the things that I've been secretly finding my identity in fall apart and I realize I'm falling apart too. And so my question for you in the storm, if you find yourself falling apart, is there anything you can identify in that place of maybe where you've put your hope apart from him that we just simply return and surrender? The next one that I just want to point out real quick is that these houses, the one with no found, no foundation, it's not like that person went to go find like the most muddy falling apart ground to build a house on. They just simply neglected to attend to the fact that a house needs a firm foundation. And many times in our lives, we don't look to find, I wanna go find all the shaky things to build my life on. We're just simply deceived and we're bought into the lie that this world could give us a security and a foundation apart from Christ. It just happens. Unless we pay in attention and careful attention to where, where we're finding our faith and our hope and regularly tending to that, we will find that on the day of our storm, our foundation has been completely shot. There was nothing there to begin with. And so my, my intention for you on this day would be to ask that same question my friend asked. When we're not finding our life found in Jesus, where are we putting it? And is there a place of surrender or a bringing back to God saying, Jesus, I know that you are the firm foundation. I relinquish my life back to you, Lord. Would I do what you say? Because I believe you have the authority in my life. And God, I will find hope and rest and life in the firm foundation of your name, Jesus, and not anything else. All right, dosers, have a great day. <laughs>